Hey YouTube. So I had a request in my last video um, related to the new version 9 update. Um, what the web browser looks like. So down here I went over that you have like your little app tray and I didn't go over the web browser. Um, but I'm assuming that it's going to be just like you can see here. How this is kind of overlaid uh, over the navigation which is the new um, UI interface for this. So the music can swipe up and down. Um, there's three different ways that the music can sit, similar to the Model 3. Um, but let's go into the web browser. And so, as you can see, the web browser is kind of like an overlay, of course. You know, haven't opened a web browser, and it takes you to Tesla.com. So it looks like it has a little bar here at the top. Might be hard to see. So let's see if we can swipe up. Yep, so just like the music there, um, we can kind of swipe up and uh, control it that way. Let's see if we can take it to full screen. I think that is as big as it gets. So we can't full screen, so you know you can even see here on the edge that the navigation is still fully behind there. Um, so let's let's test this out here. Let's go. Let's try to go to YouTube and see. Okay, so oh, okay, operator error there. Okay, let's see if YouTube works. And we'll see if we can play a video. All right, so it is loading. We are on the home Wi-Fi, so it is, or should be pretty fast. Um, so we'll just pick a video here. Let's go with uh, this one. It's a little slow. Okay, so web browser does not recognize this video format. Okay, so basically doesn't work. Won't play video. I'll click this one. Okay. YouTube video does not play. So let's go to news.google and let's see how fast that loads up. Should be pretty quick. So fairly fast. It's kind of hard to say without having the old UI right in front of me. But um, I didn't use the web browser a ton in the old user interface. Um, it does seem... Well, now it's kind of stuck here. But it did seem to load a little bit faster. This might not be the best website to load. Let's see how Yahoo loads. Oh, so this stuff popped in from Google News. And so now it's just registering when I click business. So it is a little laggy. Let's see what Yahoo does. Well, I was just about to say, it looks like it's moving a little bit faster than the old web browser. Um, but now I'm kind of thinking that it's about the same, maybe a hair of an improvement. Um, it definitely feel like most of the, like the page pops up pretty quickly. Um, let's see if we can click up here and try to get this keyboard to go away. There we go. And so it is pretty responsive. You can see that the whole page hasn't continued loading yet down here. Um, but let's click on one of these articles and see how quick, quickly it can load. There we go, I think it just registered the click. Still loading, still loading. 
I don't think, you know, like, if I was going to try to read article or something like that, I don't think, unless I was sitting charging at a supercharger, um, I don't think I'd use this web browser. So, I mean, it definitely pops up. Um, this is definitely faster than the old web browser, so it's an improvement, small improvement, I would say. Um, again, I'm on our home Wi-Fi, which is, um, you know, not a awful signal, not a great signal. So it should be, um, you know, loading pretty good, but yeah, I mean, st still the images haven't popped in here. Um, the text is in here, so I mean, you can read the article within, um, kind of stops here. So still loading, oh, there we go, okay. So it finally popped in and finished, but now I'm scrolling back up to the top and you can see that the top is gone. So I don't think, There we go, and the top is still stuck. Let's see if the top will pop back in. There we go. Okay, so we got multiple videos here that won't play, just like YouTube wouldn't work. Um, and you can see it like, ha almost like has enough uh, memory to save this part of the screen, or the web page, and then just a little bit more to here. And then when I scroll down, uh, there's probably some software developer out there. Um, feel free to correct my uh, lingo. But when I scroll down, then see how it loads the rest of the page. Like, it takes a second and then loads. Um, then when I scroll back up, see it, the top of the page is gone again. So it doesn't have enough memory within the web browser itself um, to load the entire page. So then it reloads the top of the page. So um, I believe that has to do with... RAM, random access memory, but again, correct me in the comments below. Um, let's see here. So we can still favorite. We still can view our favorites. I have no favorites. Again, I don't use the web browser all too often. So you can still favorite. It looks like you can add a tab. Let's hit this plus button up here, see what it does. Oh, okay. That's my bad. That plus button button looked like it was on the top of here, and so I use Google Chrome, so I was thinking that was like, you know, you could add different tabs, but if I scroll down here, that was from the overlaid navigation. <laughs> Silly me. Maybe that is coming in a future update. All right, well, I hope you guys like this video. Again, just going quickly over the web browser, um, and, uh, you know, it, it looks like a small improvement. If you guys want to see something else, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.